Oh. Okay, no, that's about to go bad. All right, I have my goggles on and I'm ready to play. My name is Sloth154. Welcome back to Wavetail. Now, last episode, we made it here. What's this place called again? Nope. To the Needle Prick Peaks. We learned that the dirty hands are staving off the, what's it called? The gloom with technology that our character's mother created. And that uh, the world is a horrible place. Yeah, so the corporation was behind everything. So, I'm going to finish up the side quest I couldn't do last episode because I was worried about pushing the game too far. And I will meet you guys back at the lighthouse. But I got to just say, get all this out of the way. If you end up liking this video, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I will link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. Did I just fall through that? So I will see you guys once I get back to the lighthouse. So I'll see you there. Gotta take care of these. All right, guys, welcome back. I did the side missions I missed last episode. Not too hard, not too difficult. There was a small glitch, but other Grandma, than that- I need to talk to you. I'm busy here, what's the matter? Grandma, listen to me, don't fire. What, where are you? What's taking you so long? Well, I got caught up in the fog and then the whist, uh, the pod ship came flying and I thought I was gonna die, but Granny, they saved me. They sprayed something, and then there were flowers everywhere, and Rufus said that- That bum at Needlebrick? Siggy, I don't have time for this. Just hurry up and come home. Promise you won't do anything more until I'm there. Uh, you're breaking up. Just vamoose on back now, will ya? Gran? Granny? Oh, well. I'll be there as soon as I can, Granny. Damn it, what the hell is up with this? All right. I know we're on a time crunch and I should be moving faster than this, but Zigzag, I find you. I think your surfing is even smoother than last time I saw you. But don't worry, I always find new ways to challenge you. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I can. I have time. Of course you are. Let's just continue forward. Hopefully my camera issues don't cause me more problems. Oh, cool. He's here. I think he met me halfway. All right, let's continue forward. We're almost there. Where the fuck my camera's trying to point me towards is annoying me. All because I wanted to do all the side missions. 
right, we've made it back home. Hopefully, nothing bad's happened. Oh, they've already turned it into the cannon. Right, hopefully, this fixes my problem. Blowtorch, please. Now, what's taking that girl so long? She knows I'm not fond of waiting. Stop! Stop! Oh, Sigrid. Nice to see that you made it back safely. The paws don't control the gloom. They make it flower. <sighs> make it flower? What are you rambling on about? Grandma, I know what happened to Mom. She... She died. Trying to save us. Pause. No, you don't understand. She and Rufus wanted to stop the gloom from spreading. They tried to make it into the dandelion, but the gloom got her. He tried to save her, but he lost you the leg. Have a kind heart, Siggy. <clears throat> but you must stop believing everything people tell you. Would you, you are listen? Just like your mother in that respect. And really? If you think I'll let us all meet our maker because of the words of some driveling bum? You are gravely mistaken. But he... Even if he was telling the truth, your mother wouldn't have been in any danger if she had kept away from him in the first place. No, if you had listened. you the right to always judge people like that. They were trying to save us. Sigrid, Sigrid. We all understand you're upset. Do you? All this stress would get the better of anyone. And you're just a kid. No wonder you've lost your head. Now... Why don't you go have a lie down and let us take care of things? Don't touch me! Manners, young lady. I only want to help. You want to destroy! That's what you want! That's what all of you want! Gloom you! Shrimps? Shrimpy! <sighs> well, you know how teenagers are, Doris. I wasn't all that easy myself, was I? Leave her. I still think she he's corrupt. Needs to walk it off. It might just be his voice and actor, but I think he's corrupt. Important things to attend to. I like our new look. We're gonna follow them. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of time I had to cut out before we got to where we, to getting back here. Hopefully, everything works out fine. Yeah, it fixed my camera problems. Sigrid, where are you at? Sigrid, it's Cassius. Answer us. We're getting ready to fire. Fire at the barge and you fire at me. Tell me you're joking. Have you lost your wits? You crazy, stubborn, disobedient. Nobody does anything until I can give the order. Is that clear? Stay where you are, Sigrid. I'm coming to get you. You know you well yeah come on you need to learn the truth too that you were working for an evil corporation that was poisoning the planet and uh your daughter died trying to stop the mess you made It is. Are you sure? It, it's just like the stories you've told me. I never thought I... Secret, my dear. You are brave. I give you that. But we simply cannot conform our actions to a child's foolish whims. I am in your debt for helping us come such a long way. But now, it's time to finish what we've started. I am truly sorry, child. No! Don't shoot! I have to, Sigrid. It is my duty to do so. Our people want this, and I will not be stopped. The best you can do is try and save yourself. Yeah, see, 
That's why I think he's corrupt. Like being able to explore something like this when you're a kid who grew up in a world without flowers and all these other things has to be amazing. All right, we're going to see their barge. Journal entry. What is this even? It must be somewhere way beyond the gloom fog, even past where the wave came from. I don't think I dare to travel that far just yet. I'm still wrapping my head around this place. Well, that's why they have airships, which I'm surprised that the people of the people who she grew up with didn't think of airships. That was a bit goofy. To me, my shadow. Oh. oh three, four, five. Oh, thank the sparks you're all here. Plus one extra, it seems. Are you a Stranvillian? I I am, but I I didn't want this. This wasn't the plan. I I tried to stop them. Oh, so this is how it ends. Stranville destroying everything for good. Are are you Moira? I was told to come see you. I want to put things right. There's nothing you can do, girl. Take my advice okay. and go home while it's still well, exists. No. A night weaver seed? Yes. But it's so big. It's been modified. My mother invented the technique. I was told you may know how to use it. Well, if it has all the right qualities. But if there is only one, I don't think... Think we could... If you touch her, you're dead! You hear me? Take your dirty paws off my girl! If you were to listen... That. Put that away, Grandma! I'm not letting them have you too! I have to! The only thing you have to do right now is shut up for a while! Sigrid, I... I tried to tell you before! You wouldn't listen then, but you will listen now! To That's me right, girl. and to Moira! Moira? The Moira? The very same. And on that ship was our last chance to keep the gloom away until your granddaughter came along. Sigrid? How is she involved in all this? She shouldn't... We're using a plant called Nightweaver. Its roots have the ability to tie down gloom. We've been shooting out spores from our airship day and night since that great wave came. But it barely kept the gloom from taking over. And now some geniuses decided to shoot that very ship down. You're blaming us for trying to defend ourselves? Your people attacked us! You declared war on us! You think we wanted war? You gave us no choice! Well, why didn't you just talk to us about- There's no point in talking if no one will listen. We tried talking to you, both before and after the war. We tried sending messages, we tried sending messengers, and you repeatedly chose not to listen. Too high up on your pedestals with your riches to care about anyone below you. You ripped up the ground we walk on with your cursed drills and sent your own city into the deep. 
Well, it takes two to tango, my late husband always said. You blew up the dandelion. Before that, the city was... I'm sure there was a time for talking, but that time is not now. Just You're whack them both with your... Them off by quarreling. <laughs> I got so into that. Mom, Sorry, guys, I wasn't talking. This. Did you know that? It's a seed from the Night Weaver. Moira says we might be able to use it. Iris? Why did she have There's to... There's no time to explain. Right now, you just have to trust us. You have to trust me. <sighs> So you're saying that this seed could eliminate the gloom? It has the right properties, but one is not enough, I'm afraid. How does it work? It's no ordinary seed. It's infused with sparks. That's what Rufus told me. Mom invented the technique. Well, how about we boost it some more? After all, we do have a spark cannon. Rufus and Mom tried to take the seeds into the dandelion. They wanted to spread them through the gloom pipes, tried to make it inside through one of them. Well, I'd rather try something that fails than nothing at all. I think I know the place he referred to. I'll show you the way. Cassius, cool. recharge the cannon. We have some planting to do. We have some what to do? Just start recharging. And keep Cloud out of action. My pleasure, Doris. Hey! <laughs> they get to All hurt right. the mayor. Who's the dumbass who didn't listen time? to us? Okay, where am I going? That way? Okay. Any lore, guys? I don't understand why you kept drilling for spark when people knew what it would do to our crops. I wasn't born. Ugh. Me neither, but it makes me so frustrated. Why do we have to solve something we didn't cause? We really don't have a choice. Yeah, welcome mm -hmm. to life. You think this will ever be over? Feel really tired? Don't want to dare to relax yet? Yeah. Gonna get all cuddly with... It. Okay. Fine. Fuck you too, buddy. Oh. We tried to chase off the snake without getting too close to you. We were afraid you would attack and well... <gasps> can't believe I'm this close to a strambillion. Dad told me you would... Come to get me if I didn't sleep at night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go catch up with Moira. And Grandma. Ah, that sight sure brings back memories. You've done it? As long as my back would let me. A while longer, to be honest. But they shouldn't be here in our world. When Strandville drilled for Weave Rock year after year, the Earth's mantle cracked, and the rifts went all the way down to their domain. And if we don't repair what has been destroyed... So, a shadow okay. came to you, too? Yes. My oldest daughter. We lost her during the war. When the shadow came around, I just knew it was her. You do too, right, Sigrid? You know who has come to you. Oh, so that's her mom. I think so I just couldn't believe it. Oh. But it feels like her. Wait, are you saying that thing is my daughter? A shadow of your daughter, at least. A body for a soul who needs to make contact. Okay. Real quick, I'm gonna finish out the side mission. This episode has been derailed by side missions, but I'm going to do this one real quick. I'll see you guys once I get through this. All right, here we go. I did the little side mission I accidentally got. Now we can go forward. Oh, well. This is it. This is the vent? Yes. This is where I was... <laughs> Grandma. Hmm. Now you be a good girl and stay here with Moira. Grandma, no. Yeah. I'm not letting Iris see her only child walk right into the jaws of the same monster who killed her. Hmm. Enough is enough. I already know the inside of the dandelion. But, oh, oh shrimps, I just, uh -huh. you have your whole life ahead of you. I have already lived most of mine. And, oh. well, my way of thinking hasn't exactly made things better recently. Now it hasn't. Mm. It's time to make up for that. Sure, old lady, you can handle this <laughs> stressful mission. She'll be all right. How can you be sure? Oh. 
Because the two of you are here. Because the two of you here are made of the same stuff. Are we? We'd never agree on anything. She talked and she talked about you like you were monsters. Oh. I guess to her we were. Look, Sigurd, I'm not gonna say that I like your grandmother, but I see the way she looks at you. She's so afraid of losing you. She's forgotten to enjoy that you are here. Um. I just wish she'd listened. <laughs> Grandma I have to go after her. That's right, no one's stopping us. was that mm -hmm. oh <laughs> immediately secret i told you grandma stop i will take it from here you don't understand i can't lose you too you're forgetting something important you know huh? that after i go in there i will come back out just be careful shrimps i know i said it a thousand times but i didn't read that i wasn't paying attention i thought we were done missed that one oh okay I see I missed this completely Yeah, you're not beating me. Oh. I barely noticed these things. Alright. Has she been working out? Above the gloom. Ooh, he was about to whack us. Okay. We can continue going forward. We're at the dandelion. Cool. Uh oh. How's it going? Uh, ignore me. Sparks, the dandelion.
Are you inside? Not yet, but I'm working on it. I think I've found another way in. I'm coming after you. All right, Grand, just don't die. One of us has the advantage of youth. We got there a lot easier than uh everyone else did. Glad you don't have a mouth. Just whack it? Feeling gloomy. Okay, no, that's about to go bad. Yeah. You can't really take me, can ya? Big boy. Put you back in the ground you came from. this thing shots I think I made it to phase three I'm not sure Let's see what you got. Get ready, you place the seed, right? They're getting ready to fire soon. Too busy to talk, Grandma. Just try to hurry. I'm almost there. Well, Grand, it's not a good situation right now. <laughs> yeah, this is a good clear clock. Crowd clearing technique. Okay, did it. Completed the story. 
probably missed a side mission or here or there, but let's throw the seat in and get the fuck out of here. It's done. Fire! Fire! Jump, child. He jumped a bit too late there. Oh, we're actually under the water. Wait, so we can swim? The gloom is going back underground. Deep breaths, my darling. Please don't get claimed. This sounds like a beautiful song. Waves are crashing. We are still far from shore. Know that I've got you. I would have already drowned. She's at peace now, don't you think? Maybe. Don't really know what's on the other side. Don't want to know. <laughs> Alright, so he wasn't corrupt. He was just a dick. What's the matter with Anita? Easy, Doris. Nothing's wrong with her. I just thought it rude to leave an old lady in distress. I have a feeling that particular lady knows how to take care of herself. <laughs> we did it, y'all. We spark and did it. <laughs> well, look at these weeds. Solid stuff. I've never walked on ground that wasn't rock or sand. You did well, all of you. Eventually. And without you, my dear girl, we I still want to see these two old ladies just duke it out. I saw right away that she was made of the right stuff. Bravest little pirate there ever was. Isn't she, Doris? <sighs> Sigrid. You've done such... <sighs> Why can't I just do this? Oh, you're Grandma, stubborn. I... No, I have to do this. <sighs> but at least she's trying to change. When Iris was a kid, John always took care of the mushy stuff. But when he wasn't around anymore and we lost Iris, when it was just you and me, I didn't know how to handle my own feelings, much less yours. I put a roof over your head, fried some herring for dinner, and wiped your nose. But the rest... I just couldn't... I... I'm so sorry, Shrimpy. You didn't only feed me. You taught me how to use a wrench. And a hammer. And a blowtorch. I can't be trusted with those. I'm not sure you can say you've learned to use something when you've almost burned the house down with it a few weeks ago. It there happens to the be best of us. That. Well, I guess we'll have to keep practicing. Both that and the mushy stuff. The easy part is just a hug. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds nice. So, what do we do now, now, now that we won? Make sure the rest of the world victory. doesn't know that your town is responsible chance. for all this? The girl is right. This is where the real work begins. We have ground to walk upon, but we need to learn how to cultivate it without depleting it. 
The rifts are sealed. But we still have to get rid of the rest of that wretched gloom. Oh, okay, so it's not all gone. How long will it take to fix this? When will everything be back to normal? Never. There's no fixed, dear. And I don't think any one of us knows what normal is anymore. There is no normal. It's a lifetime's work. Existence what is chaos and despair. Only time can tell. As long as no new fools come around and start ruining things, I'm sure we can keep things in order. <sighs> Untie me, you wretched cretin. I demand to be released. We could just drown you. I'm afraid you. I can't do that, sir, but if you just allow me to. It's fucking seagull. Word from Candle Hill. Seems the plants are growing there, too. Apparently, a big stem of some kind has pierced right through the canteen. Get some rest, folks. Then we have work to do. Cool. Alright guys, and this is the end of Wavetail. This has been a pretty good cool game. I like the message, I like the art style. The only thing that really freaks me out about the art style is the eyes and the expressions. I can't read them. It's weird, okay? If you're gonna do... It's one of those weird things. It's a 3D model with a 2D expression and it's a bit weird to me. So, uh, I like this game. Uh, the only problem I had was in this episode because I took a break and I tried to backtrack to get the side quest that I missed last episode. I caused an error in the game or a glitch or a bug that forced the camera to for face a certain direction always. So I had to fight it in the first part of this episode just to keep the camera straight. I was able to get it after I got another save point. I had to exit out the game completely and restart it. That fixed it. But still, that was the only major problem I had with this game. Apparently, I got most of the, my theories throughout this entire series were mostly right. The Dirty Hands or the Whistlers weren't just an opposition force, the antagonists. They were an, uh, what's the word? Ecological activists who had to escalate their actions because People wouldn't listen, and the corporation, the Dandelion Corporation, who poisoned the ocean, poisoned the land, and pretty much led up to the point where the world is flooded, which this town can never let it get out, because, you know, we humans really like to hurt the people who we can blame for one major problem. We like to punish people. But, uh, other than that, most of my theories are right. Uh, except for the mayor. I thought he was corrupt. I thought he was just some big bad person. No, just an just a entitled asshole who thinks that he is who thinks that he knows what's best, even though he does he wouldn't listen to the experts or listen to people's complaints. Other than that, I th missed two people in my journal thing. If I could go, if I could uh, explore the world after this, I will. God, I'm trying to vamp through all this, but it's hard. Uh, let's see, anything else? Oh, I love the travel mechanics, and um, yeah, I love the travel mechanics. And the side missions were insightful. Kind of gave us an ins It kind of gave us more to understand about the people of this world. Nice world building side quests. You don't have to do them. But if you do them, you get to learn about the people who are in this world. It has a nice open world concept, except for that one part where I got, where uh, my camera got the error. Other than that, perfect. Did I make it all the way through? Come on. Damn it. <laughs> Let's at least get through the cast before I jump you guys ahead after the credits. Uh, voice actors, cast animators renderers you know full team y'all did an amazing job with this i mean it looks beautiful the movement is practically fluid if you get used to it and uh 
the combat was nice and quick. You can, if you figure out the combat mechanics, both on water and on land, you can just fly through this thing. I'm going to cut you guys ahead to the point where I no longer have to vamp. All right, here we are at the end of the credits. Thank you for making a great game, guys. Speed up a little bit. This has been fun. Oh, I can enter free play mode. Yeah, so now I can go around and just explore. So guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. If you, I'm gonna end this series here, actually. If you like this series, comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel. Check out the description. I'll have a link to the playlist for this series and other games I played on my channel. Tell me in the comment section what you think about the game and what you think about everything that happened. Did you enjoy the story like I did? Did you find any fault in it? Any which way, we're going to end it here. I'm going to climb this tower. Because it's here. I'm going to figure out how to climb the tower. Okay, there's more ways to climb over here. Yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next series. Um, this has been fun. All right. You guys are going to keep... I got to send you guys out because I'm just going to keep climbing and doing things. Did I say... No, I didn't say the main part. If you made this far in the video and you made this far in the series, Brian thanks you. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye.